good morning everyone um i woke up this morning going through my phone um still trying to recover from what happened during the election and i found this video so i just decided to share it with you guys this is exactly what majority of nigerians did just for election to go smoothly but at the end of everything just i voted for peter Obi. what you see i didn't jump that queue for peter Obi. i didn't smuggle anybody into the polling booth for peter Obi. i didn't brandish a knife or threaten anybody in my polling unit for peter Obi. i did not snatch a ballot box stuff a ballot box break a ballot box for peter Obi. I did not bribe anybody to change results for Peter Obi. I did not steal. I did not kill for Peter Obi. What I did for my candidate was stand in line. From 8 in the morning on Saturday till 8 in the morning on Sunday. And when the sun got to and I thought of going back home. I remembered shot to death on the train to Kaduna. And I stood. And when the heavens opened and poured down rain, and I thought of running to find shelter, I remembered stuck at home because of Asu's strike. And I stood through my hunger, through my thirst, through my worry about whether the children I left at home were fine. I stood because what I wanted to give my candidate, what I ended up putting in that box was not a piece of paper. What I ended up putting in that box was my hope for a country where young people would not be so disillusioned by the actions of their own parents, of their own leaders, that they will be willing to risk crossing the Sahara Desert on foot just to escape. That was what I put in that book. That was what my presiding officer refused to uplook. The future of that young boy who stood with me, who stood with us through the night, counting those votes. He was a first time voter, pregnant with hope. But somewhere between our polling unit and the coalition center, that boy's future was ambushed by a politician. A politician who used Biro to cross out that boy's destiny. A politician who found where that boy had written hope and wrote over it new words, hopeless. Yeah. It is a terrible thing, I tell you. When a Nigerian is kidnapped on their way to Zamfara or Makodi, or Inugu. But it is infinitely worse when Nigeria herself is kidnapped on the way to the coalition center. My brother, my sister, it is not Nigeria that has her foot on your neck. It is not the Fulani or the Igbo, the Christian or the Muslim that has wrapped her finger, their finger around your neck and is squeezing the civic life out of you. It is not Yoruba people who don't give a damn whether you eat, whether you have a decent house to sleep in, whether you're able to find a job five years after graduating. It is not North or South that spends eight years to build one bridge 
or to fix one pothole in the middle of the road, I tell you, my brother, my sister, it is that politician who is willing to kill, who is willing to steal, to stay in office, that is your enemy. But like the serially abused, many of you have fallen in love with your kidnappers. And you admire the swagger of those who steal destiny. You admire the confidence of those who use the future of the Almagiri to foil their kind. But not me. Me. I would rather be a Gitman in heaven than a king in hell. Me, my heart will always be there, standing in line with that young boy, waiting patiently for that day when our hope will come. Mahmoud Yakubu, count our hope. For it is bearable, it is honorable to lose in a contest that is fair. But nobody who steals political power will use it for good. Mahmoud Yakubu. Count our vote.